Hey everybody, this is Dean, and uh, welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd do a quick overview of how to use the browse function in On One Photo Raw. Uh, so we're in the browse function. To get there, we just select this icon up here in the corner, and uh, we want to browse our photos. The first thing you want to do is really organize your photos. Um, however you want them organized, regardless of what editing program you use. What I do is I have a, a main folder called Photos, and under each, one, each uh, folder under Photos is a different camera that I use. And under each camera, I have a year, and uh, under the year, I have the date that I did the shoot with the particular camera. This works best for me. Uh, for you, you might just uh, have a... a uh, folder named photos and you might just have the years and the dates you did the the shots it may not matter to you being able to quickly reference what camera it was uh or you may have it under locations there are a bunch of different ways you can organize that whatever works best for you in that case that way regardless of what photo editor you're using you have kind of a structure that you can go to and just use windows or mac or whatever and go to that file structure to find things directly as well. All right, so if we look down at the bottom left corner uh, here, there's this little icon here, and if we click this icon, it makes this uh, section with the uh, folder listing disappear or reappear. And if we go to the right, we have one, and when we click on it, it makes the section with the metadata on each photo appear and disappear. So if you click on any photo, it gives you the metadata that's uh, been automatically uh, recorded on this, like shutter speed and capture date. And uh, if if the camera has a GPS automatically going into it, uh, it will put it in there, or you can add it into it later. Um, and uh, the other thing you can do is you can actually put keywords in the description in here. Uh, there's a bunch of different metadata in here. We're not going to go over all of it in this video, but just know that it's there. So if you click on any one of these, you get it on this side. And you can look at the, the data. Uh, you can search by it. You can, uh, you can uh, add metadata there. All right. So uh, one of the uh, features on... Uh, the on one browse and this is similar to Lightroom is you can you can set certain things like there's a star rating here so uh, I can just randomly click this at five stars let's click this at four this at three and you can put this back at five and this at four and this at five just to set put some settings in there so you can see what happens uh, we'll set a couple more here at five. And a couple more at four. So you, you use the star rating however you want to rate uh, something. And uh, the advantage to, to setting this is if we go up into the metadata now, or the attribute actually, we can set uh, so that we see like the, just the five star ones, or we can see the ones that are greater than three stars. So we'll show us the five, the three, and the four, or we could go up to four stars to see just the four and the five. Uh, and, and that gives us a way to just see certain uh, images that we have marked. And if we go back down here and just click them all off, they all appear again. The other thing we can do is we can go and we can mark a color code for these depending on uh, whatever you want to set the color code to. So you have to kind of decide what the color code is for. But you may uh, set uh, certain color codes on here. So if we pick yellow, it will show the one that has yellow or if we had multiple ones with yellow it would show that if we click on red it shows the red and we can actually click more than one of these at once and so if we wanted to see the red and the blue uh, images that were marked red and blue we could just click both of them at once 
And once again, if we take that off, it shows everything. And then the final thing, the final way to kind of rate these or mark them is there's a little heart here, so favorites. So if you don't want to really rate it or come up with a color coding, you can just you can just click whichever images are your favorite images uh, and the ones that you want to see or print. And so then if we... Uh, click on all the ones with hearts on it. Those are our favorites. We can actually click that off and just click the ones that don't have hearts on it. If we click both of those things off, we have all of them on there. So uh, uh, that's the way we can show all those particular uh, um, images and come up with a rating system or a way to mark them for different projects. All right, so another thing to be aware of is right now you see... These files are NEF, which are uh, Nikon RAW image files. I actually shot both uh, RAW image and JPEG during the shoot, but only the uh, RAW are showing. What you can do is you can actually go here and set group RAW plus JPEG. If I unclick that, you'll see the JPEG and the RAW appear. Advantage to using the group, the RAW, and in the uh, JPEG together is you only see one set of file and if you change the metadata on any of these things it keeps everything kind of synced up together uh, so so uh, if you added uh, like metadata to the a raw image on here the JPEG of the same image would sync up on that and it makes it a little easier to work with uh, that way as well uh, another way you could sort them out would be is if we turn this off on again or off again you see the jpegs and the raw files you can actually go here and you might even have other type image files in here uh, like you might edit it and save it as a photoshop and so what we can do is we can go to metadata and we can find we can do it by date keywords description any metadata here but we can do it by file type and if we select raw, it will only show the raw. But if we wanted just to see the JPEG, it would only show the JPEG there. And so uh, we're going to switch this back to everything, which will turn that off and then turn off the metadata. By clicking on this metadata tag there, it makes that available. These, ex these extra attributes down here. Uh, so... Uh, that's another way that you can sort the files. The other thing you can do is you can actually create catalogs and so uh, or albums. And so we could add an album here uh, by clicking on this. And uh, we could name it. We'll just name it Test Album. So we know what we're talking about. But you can name it for a location, for a shoot, for a particular type of picture. Uh, like if you wanted to gather pictures from different folders and put them in one album so you could see them. If we click OK there, you'll see that appears, but there's nothing in that right now. So if we go back to browse or back to browse up here and uh, go back down here. To where we have um, our, our uh, files. If we go here, we can go uh, add the album and pick the album here. So it's test album. Let's add a second one here. Add to album, test album. And if we go back over here to catalogs and albums to test album, you'll see those two pictures. They both appear in that album. We can go back down here. I have a little blue mark right here. And this blue mark is I can put a color tag on uh, any of these uh, folders. So let's change it to green, for example. So if I'm working on a folder and I want to get back to it, I could tag it a particular color. Or if I'm working on a project and I want to tag certain folders, certain colors, I could do that. Uh, uh, I don't see a lot of use in doing that, although you might. You could mark all of your folders by different colors. 
But to use them temporarily to mark folders so that you can come back and find them in the list really quickly is one good way uh, to, to use this. Uh, so um, you can not on, only color code images, but you can color code folders as well. And as I said, probably with the color coding, you may want to color code certain ones for whatever reason. Just it, it, it's an aid to help you. It's like a highlighter, like I said, on text that you can use as well. And the, and the final thing that you can do is you can go up here and you can add to favorites if you have certain folders that you want to have access to very quickly. And you can even color code those folders as well. If one thing to be aware of and to be cautious of is if you want to like remove a folder from the favorites, make sure you go remove from favorites. Don't go delete. If you go delete, it deletes the actual folder and the files. So that's something to be careful of when you're, if you use favorites on here. But those are just some of the tools that you can use with browse to help you organize photos. Uh, either overall or for just particular projects if you want to temporarily mark something. I'm Dean and this has been Photo Blue and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.